Talking over games in person makes it easier to get feedback and improve, and that's what I need more than anything else. The sting for my failure at the VSL qualifier will take time to fade. I don't want to experience that pain ever again. I catch sight of Jet in the middle row, her attention locked on a ladder game. Without disturbing her, I take a seat at her side and, mat and watch the match unfold. Furious taps and clicks rattle her keyboard. Her focus never drops from the game, much less her monitor. She's ahead, though not by much. It's not long until she extends her, league, er, her lead late in the game, and f a few minutes later, heaves a sigh of relief when her opponent rage quits out. There's no need for me to consult my Korean skills to understand his final message. Zerg Imba. You actually showed. You actually showed. Color me surprised. How could I not? The better question is how you have the free time to practice with some amateur. I'm the charitable sort, obviously. Anyway, you're here, so let's stop wasting time. You've paid for your PC, yeah? I nod and log myself into the station next to her. A minute later, the two of us are grinding out practice matches. Oh, we're grinding them out! We're grinding them out! Game after game is a beatdown. I can't crack her defenses when I attack, and I'm barely holding on when she goes on offense. She's just as unforgiving in pointing out my mistakes as she is in game. Your wall at the ramp is your natural. Uh, your natural is trash. How the hell do you get away with this? You're asking to get busted. It's not something I really think about that much. I just throw it up, you know? Fix it or be punished. That probably isn't an idle threat. Jet is the type of player capable of ending the game instantly if she can capitalize on the right kind of mistake. Her style has been characterized as both passive and reactive. She, she takes her time and watches her opponents, patient for the right moment to strike. She only takes a risk if it's calculated in her favor. Given her former success, the style has suited her well, though I can't help but wonder why she hasn't lately been performing at her previous level. Maybe she's lost her killer instinct. Guess not! A reminder of the skill difference between us rushes up the ramp in my natural expansion and crushes my wall, as promised. In the aftermath of the destruction, she swarms my base and seizes an easy win. Jet reve revels in her victory with a predatory smile. Wrecked. Before we get into the next game, I catch sight of a familiar face coming into the cafe. Oh, my buddy. Huh, isn't that the same guy from last night? Hey, Jet, uh, do you know who that is? A thumb in the stranger's direction as he passes by us. His attention occupied by a cell phone screen. Jet trails a look after him, wrinkles her nose, and shrugs. He's a KPGA player, Protoss. What about him? Come on, let's get into the game already. Seriously? He was at All Out Attack yesterday. W what's he doing outside his team house two days in a row? They're obviously figuratively chained to their desks. Not all of them are shut-ins. Stop wasting time. Let's go. They're obviously only figuratively. That's what she was trying to say. I double take away from Jet to find the player in question seated a few rows in front of us. And he's got the StarCraft II client open. Why would a KB KPGA player spend his practice time on anything but Brood War? Huh. Should I ask him for a game? I... I think I'm going to ask him for a game. What? No, hold on. Wait, you can't just... But before she can stop me, I, ra I rise and shuffle my way past the rows of computers. Jet shoots me a, wi a withering glare over the top of her station before ducking back down. Even though I've barely interacted with the guy, I can't help but feel a little anxious as I edge closer to his PC. Sure, he was a bit rude when we spoke, but the chance to challenge a KPGA pro is too good to pass up, especially if I'm trying to step up my game. He's about to jump into a match when I clear my throat behind him. He subtly alt-tabs, and then turns to regard me through his half-lidded eyes. What? Excuse me, would you mind a practice game? Uh... Oh, fuck. 
That keeps happening. They keep like pausing, and I think that's the whole line, but that's not it. It just like pauses there. When I click, it goes through it. He pauses. Recognition f uh, flits across his face. You're the guy from the from all that attack yesterday, aren't you? I nod sheeplessly. His only reaction is to stare on. For a moment, he looks ready to dismiss me and get to laddering. But at the last second, he nods. All right, one game. With a final nod, I return to my station. A moment later, he and I share a game lobby and are just about ready to begin. He's playing on a barcode account. Mm, typical. How have I still not managed to catch this guy's name? A sharp tap against my headphones announces Jet Jet's return and displeasure. You're obnoxious! If you lose and embarrass me by association, I'm going to pretend I don't know you. Anything else Jet has to say is drowned out along with the sounds of golden zone fire when I pull the ear pad back on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. He plays Protoss, that's all we know about this guy. If the idea behind practicing against a good player is to improve, I should probably play standard. Still, the temptation to all in is always there. How sick would it be to grab a quick win on a KPGA player? Nah, let's play out a standard game. We are here to get better, son! It's probably best that I follow Jet's advice. I opt for a standard ma macro management game. This guy's build permitting. I take my natural expansion and begin to tech up. The match progresses quiet quietly with only a few brief skirmishes with his stalkers and my marines. My scans show uh, that he's not doing anything out of the ordinary. One of us has to make a move sooner or later. I start constructing my starport and researching my bio upgrades. I'm surprised to find that they finish without any pressure coming from the Protoss army. This could be a good time to go for some drop play and try to snipe some of his critical tech buildings. If I were to play an aggressive drop style, I need to be confident in my control and in the fact that I can outplay him. On the other hand, this game has been exceptionally quiet. If, if I could get up another expansion, I'll have some serious economic advantage going into the late game. Risk an early third base or get aggressive with dropships. Yo, this is PVT. PVT, we are playing with dropships. Let's go. Dropship play is defining characteristic of a top Terran player. If I win with this, it's a good indication that I can stand toe to toe with the best players in Korea. It's time to put my practice to work. I gather enough units for an attack at my starport uh, as the first dropship finishes. It's imperative he doesn't see me move out, so I make sure the watchtowers are clear and avoid places where Protoss players commonly leave their observers. When my dropships are in the clear, I fly straight into his base. He's unprepared for the attack, and I unload all my units' rush uh, to snipe some important tech buildings. Yatta! <laughs> With the damage to his infrastructure done, it's uh, my units retreat for the safety of my dropship. Shit, <laughs> my dropship. <laughs> <laughs> that set him back a ton. The game is going incredibly well, so I decide to push on my aggression and build an army for a final push. He's too busy defending to get a decent standing army, and when I roll in with my amassed units, he kites back, bobbing and weaving away from my forces while de delivering pot shots. I give chase, the taste of victory tantalizingly close. I manage to corner his army, leaving him with nowhere to run. But just as I move in to deliver the final blow, he flanks me with half a dozen Templar, showering my army in high damage storms. I pull back frantically, but my army is left in tatters. I try my hardest to gather enough units to mount a, stand a second offense, but he continues to crush my attacks with only a handful of well-upgraded and well-microed zealots, his stalkers and archons. How the hell did this happen? My lead is gone. Frustrated, I box all my workers and charge his base for a final attack. With my SCVs, uh, SCVs on the front line, I should have enough power to, make, to take a direct engagement. Uh, I roll through his fourth base uncontested. Yes, he's giving up ground because he knows he can't face me. Uh, emboldened, I, drive, I dive up the ramp to his natural to end the game. And I find myself face to face with an ambush. My front line evaporates before I can issue the command to retreat. And he crushes what remains of my army a full few moments later. I can't believe it.
I lost. I stare blankly at the screen for almost 10 seconds before I finally type GG and quit out of the match. I don't have long to sulk and defeat before the KPGA player makes his way over to me with a smirk. As promised, Jet is nowhere to be seen. Hey, you actually know how to play. Wasn't expecting that I'd have to try. Oh, wasn't expecting that I'd have to try. It's a compliment, regardless of how condescendingly he said it, though it's difficult to be grateful and graceful in defeat. I try my best anyway. I played my game the best I could, kept vision on you, dropped when I could. But it wasn't enough. Sucks, man. It's one thing to lose carelessly, but it's another when everything goes as planned and you fail anyway. Oh, excuse me. His grin darkens to one without humor. Is this guy serious? What the hell is your problem? You you demand a game and whine when you get a little pushback. Look who's talking. Everyone knows your type. The foreigner out to make a name for himself. You fly out here on a whim and waste six weeks training. You aren't the first and unfortunately you won't be the last. Your plane ticket doesn't buy you the right to call yourself a pro gamer. Save your money and your time and go back home. I feel the heat rise in my face, half in anger and half in embarrassment. I've never, f I've never dealt well with confrontation. But before I can say anything else, Jet steps out from around the corner and cuts between the two of us. Still great at making friends, huh, Bolt? He glances between the two of us, surprised. After a moment's pause, the so-called Bolt seizes back his smirk and, uh, and meets Jet with a step forward. Been a while, hasn't it? What's a supposed Star League champion doing with trash like this? Bolt looks past her and tilts his head towards me. I take a step towards him, but an open palm from Jet stops me from going any further. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Jumping ship to a scene bloated with foreign money has its upsides. But it wouldn't be long before you forget the dignity of a pro gamer. The dignity of a pro gamer, huh? You make it sound so distinguished. You've changed for the worst, and you don't even realize it. How sad. Shouldn't be much longer until the KPGA finally accepts that there's no future in Brood War. You're smart enough to know what happens then. But hey, the scene could always use more casters. Whatever you say, for the record. Whatever you say, for the record, what excuse uh, did you give your coach for another day off? VIPs a little more lax than stock T1 than shock T1, but I might want to borrow it someday. I have no idea what any of that meant. At that bolt scowls, Jet doesn't waste the opening and strikes again. Don't worry, d what? Oh boy! Don't worry, Dong Sang. Uh, your secret's safe with me. Run along now. I'm sure you've got coins to flip or something. The standoff lasts a moment longer before Bolt la lets out a lazy shrug, instantly killing off the intensity in his expression. I've got better things to do than offer advice to a mouthy chobo. Do what you want, kid. Dude, a lot of these words I don't totally know. He thumbs his nose at me and returns to his station without another word. As soon as Bolt's out of sight, Jet t takes my arm in a vice and practically drags me away. You had the game won! What the hell was that? An SCV pull at 15 minutes? Is that what you, they teach you on the NA servers? Even after a heated confrontation, her concern is with the match before anything else. I almost laugh. My drops crippled him. I thought I could... I thought it would be enough to end the game. You, so build units for two minutes and then go roll him? Don't be so damn impatient. Your upgrades were late too. Her pointed critique diffuses the tension f uh, from moments prior, even if it doesn't exactly make me feel any better. When she's done going through my long list of mistakes, Jet flicks a hand back towards the PCs. Come on, cue up a game against me. All right, and that's it for this episode. Be sure to check out our very next episode coming up in a bit. If you guys had a good time, be sure to hit those like, comment, and subscribe buttons. They help grow the channel 8,000%.
ton. Always looking to improve it. Let me know what we can do as well to make this a better experience for you guys.